Right, as promised at the very start of NTV tonight, we keep our eye on the security situation in the North Rift. And Rift Valley Regional Commissioner Abdi Hassan has expressed confidence that the ongoing operation to rid the Kerio Valley of bandits will yield the desired results. Residents in the six North Rift counties have 24 hours to surrender illegal guns in their possession. The Regional Commissioner spoke with NTV's Bridget Ngana on the latest happenings in the Operation Zone. The, the effect of banditry and cattle rustling in, uh, in the region is monumental. It has affected schools. A number of schools have been closed, destroyed, completely vandalized to the extent that some schools do not exist anymore. Livelihoods have been affected. People have relocated. People have moved away from their original homes. They have become squatters. They have become IDPs, in, I mean integrated IDPs. Businesses have collapsed. The government directive on uh, imposing curfew on the six uh, counties uh, did happen last night. It was observed across the region. There were no incidences. People still hold those illegal firearms. Then we shall undertake forceful or what is called compulsory disarmament and uh, we shall carry it out uh, to the best of our ability to ensure that we rid off that area of illegal weapons which have been the source of serious problem in the area. A criminal is a criminal. Whether it cuts across the echelons of the society, it doesn't matter. So anyone who will be found on the wrong side of the law will be held personally liable and responsible and will be charged according to the law. The National Police Service is leading. The operations have been going on. What the military will do is to supplement or complement what the National Police Service is doing on the ground. The goodwill is there right from His Excellency the President, who has pronounced himself severally on how he wants the matter to be resolved. We have had our CS Interior, who has literally camped in the region. We have been with him across for almost two weeks in the region. And you can see the commitment, the willingness, the goodwill is there. So that alone explains the difference. And we are very certain when the government pronounces itself and moves with that speed, then the end result is very clear. Not how long will this operation be, be, be or it's until you are satisfied that there are no bandits? Absolutely. We will stay there as long as it takes until we clear the area of these marauding bandits who have no uh, respect to the sanctity of human life. And therefore, because of their destruction and uh, the, the manner in which they have converted that area into a destitution, uh, this is what we want to tackle. And therefore, we will stay there until we are sure and certain that all is well, security is guaranteed, and that we will not have illegal firearms in the wrong hand. I mean, illegal firearms in the area.